Hello everyone, welcome to our J Special Techno channel. In the previous session, we introduced the concepts of special analysis in GIS technology. In this session, we will explain how to install the WPS extension in Joe server. For more information, watch the rest of this video. Joe server is an open source server software that allows users to create and publish Joe special web services and maps over the internet. It supports multiple data formats and protocols, making it a versatile tool for managing and serving geospatial information. One of the key features of GeoServer is its ability to act as geoprocessing server. Geoprocessing refers to analyzing geospatial data to extract meaningful information and perform various special operations. Some special operators include buffer, clip, union, counter, and more. With GeoServer's geoprocessing capabilities, users can easily perform complex special analysis and data manipulation tasks without needing separate software tools. This makes GeoServer a versatile platform that can handle various geospatial data processing needs. GeoServer doesn't include the web processing service or WPS functionality by default, but for not. It's readily available as an extension for easy installation. Adding WPS opens up a world of geospatial analysis and processing capabilities directly through GeoServer. First, get the appropriate zip file for the WPS extension compatible with your GeoServer version. Once you have it, the installation process is simple. Extract the files from the zip and place them in your GeoServer directory. This easy method will smoothly integrate the WPS service with your Joe server environment, giving it more powerful processing abilities. Here are the steps to install the WPS extension in Joe server. Navigate to the Joe server website at www.joeserver.org and select the download link. From the archive tab, select the option that corresponds to your Joe server version. Note that this tutorial uses GeoServer version 2.25.3. If you are using other version of GeoServer, the extension version must match the version of the GeoServer software, otherwise an error will occur. Select the WPS option from the Services section. After a few seconds, the file will download automatically. It's often recommended to stop your server before installing extensions. This will prevent any potential conflicts or problems during the installation process. If you are using the Apache Tomcat container to install and run your server, you can easily stop the software by navigating to localhost colon 8080 and pressing the manager app button. Enter your Apache Tomcat username and password, and then click the stop button associated with the Joe server software. Unzip the downloaded WPS extension zip file and copy it into the Joe server directory, webinf, and live folder within your Joe server installation. Ensure the extracted files are placed directly in this directory, avoiding subfolders. Once the files are in place, restart GeoServer to ensure that the chains take effect. This activates the newly installed WPS extension. Now let's check the installation of the WPS extension in GeoServer. Once 
once GeoServer is online again, navigate to the GeoServer web interface. From the Server Status section, click on the Modules tab to confirm that the WPS extension is in the list of installed extensions. To test the functionality of the WPS extension and ensure its proper operation, you can run sample scripts to validate its integration and assess performance. Navigate to the Demos section and select the WPS Request Builder from the Geo Server Demos page. The WPS Request Builder consists of a drop down list containing various processes. It supports many types of processes that are categorized based on prefixes. These prefixes are JTS or Java Topology Suite, Geo or Geometry Processes, RAS or Raster Processes, Wake or Vector Processes, GS or Geo Server Specific Processes. The Geo and JTS function groups provide text output of analysis functions. However, these options don't accept Geo Server internal layers. On the other hand, the GS and WET function groups accept not only text input, but also the layer principle or the URL of the WFS layer as input. If you need to analyze raster data, you can select analysis with the RAS prefix in the observed classification. By following these steps, you will be able to explore the various processes that GeoServer provides for special analysis. In this session, we explained how to install the WPS extension in GeoServer. If you would like to learn about the concepts of a special analysis in GIS technology, we recommend that you watch the suggested video. Have a good time!